I looked at the bottle and asked the lady in the counter and I'm like, oh my God, I can actually handle this. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Roots Gifted Hands. I'm super excited that you're here, that I've got your attention. Let's get straight to this video. Today, I've got another haul video for you guys, and it's a combination of sets and individual perfumes. So I've got about 25 Yes, 25 brand spanking new fragrance that I want to share with you. If you haven't seen my spring haul video, I'm going to link it up here for you guys. In that video, I did show fragrance like I'm going to show today, but I didn't really speak in that video. So this video doesn't go on for eternity. I'm going to be doing future individualized reviews on all of this fragrance. Not to worry, just stay tuned to this channel and I'll definitely have those videos up for you. So without further ado, I think I should just get straight to the video. Or maybe I should give you a little backstory. In a future video, I'll probably share my fragrance journey with you guys and how I became a lover of fragrance and all of those things and just more information. But I will just go ahead and mention that as of mid-2019, so that will be about end of June to about July, I started purchasing fragrance. And when I started that, I would say I probably had only about five actual fragrance bottles but as of today april 2020 less than a year later i own about 125 bottle of fragrance and mind you most of them are about 100 mil bottles so after i'm done this haul video i should have about 150 actual fragrance and a lot of these fragrances are not cheap but it's something that i love i enjoy and i'm kind of like investing in it you will be seeing a lot of fragrance videos from me if i have 150 bottles i pretty much will be bringing you almost 150 reviews on all of the fragrance that i purchased go ahead and leave me a comment if you feel that 150 bottles of fragrance is excessive oh my god this is so heavy let me just go ahead and show you these are this is the first box of fragrance i have and let me go ahead and show you the other one. Here is the second box. These are mostly sets. So without further ado, let's get straight to this video. I am gonna be starting it off with one of my favorite fragrance houses, and that is the House of Chanel Paris. I love me some Chanel fragrance. I probably will have to do a video of just the collection I have from Chanel alone. I can already tell this video is gonna be pretty long, so it's probably gonna be split into two parts. So let me just get on with the video. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the least intimidating one that I purchased, and I already opened the box. <laughs> I couldn't help myself in it because I just had to see it. This is Chanel Chance, the original one, and this is the Etta Perfume. And I got it from Ulta. The majority of my fragrance are actually from Ulta Beauty. Um, so since I already opened this, I'm just going to slide it out and show you guys what it looks like. Oh my god. Yes! I was so excited to get my hands on this fragrance. I have a lot of their fragrance, and a lot of them are in the square or rectangle bottles, but this is circular, and I love the metal detail on it. Like, this is just so elegant and so pretty. It's going to look so good on my dresser. It smells so good. This definitely has the DNA of Chanel fragrance, and it's giving me some of the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle vibes. That's what I'm getting from this right now. Mm, smells really good. I will be giving you guys a review later. This retails for $135 and this is the 100 ml bottle. So I don't know if you can see that. This is a definitely good one and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Next, I've got... I'm going to have to go really fast through these. I've got Chanel Paris Coco, the Etta Perfume. This one is the 60 ml bottle and is the refillable spray bottle. Upon opening it, this is what you get. This is um, an instruction on how to, I guess, probably refill the bottle or something. Oh my God, and this is what it looks like. This looks like money. Oh my. All right, before I lose it, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to you about, it's a little plastic container. It's got these two things on the side. When this is done, all I have to do is buy the refillable bottle and I guess you would just take it out from here and release it and then put the new one in. In any case, I've got this. 
but this fragrance is just one I had to have in my collection. It's like the introductory phase to Chanel number no. five because Chanel number no. five can be very intimidating to some people is much more for like the older crowd It's leaving like the coco mademoiselle region which those ones are more mass appealing this is what you wear when you mean business it just smells like money okay and i'm so happy to have in my collection oh, i love this packaging so uh, now moving on to the big boy fragrance this is chanel number no. five and I'm just going to give you a little backstory. Last year when I started my journey, um, I wanted to get this fragrance. I went to smell it in the store. And it was just way too heady, too obnoxious smelling, just like in your face. I just went ahead and smelt this one more time. When I smelt it, I was just like, whoa, are you sure this is number five? And the Etta Perfume too? I looked at the bottle, I asked the lady in the counter, and I'm like, oh my god, I can actually handle this. I can actually tolerate this right now. So I guess my scent palette has definitely improved because now I not only can tolerate the scent, I like I'm in love with the scent. And this is our classic Chanel number five. So this is the Eau de Perfume. Let me see if I can make it focus. That's the Eau de Perfume, and this is a hundred ml bottle. And this Just go ahead and spray it. Oh, this just smells like money. Pure, mature, elegant. I actually purchased this for my mom also. I'm so excited to have this in my collection. This is a definite keeper. Just because I'm going to have to speed through this video going forward so it's not super long. I'm just going to go ahead and put the price of the fragrance on the side of the screen for you guys while I talk about it and any other information I have. I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it and tell you why I purchased it or any of those information. So this retails for $135. Now the Coco retails for $110. And this is the 60 ml bottle and the refillable one. So moving on swiftly, this is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. Oh my God, I heard, I think it was Jeremy Fragrance talk about this fragrance. And just the way he described it made me want to get my hands on it. So the box is like suede. This box feels so luxurious. Just the green color just looks like schmutty. So you open it and it looks like this on the inside. It comes with, okay, this. And in here you have the fragrance. So I'm going to just pull it out. Okay, so this is what the actual bottle looks like. And I already know what the top looks like. Some people don't like the top of this. But I don't mind it. I actually like it. So it comes like this. Oh, packaging is so nice. So it comes like this. And it's got this tassel at the end. And you just go ahead and put it on like a purse. When I saw people review this on their channel, I didn't think it was this big. It's actually quite big, but this is good. It's actually sturdy and you can hold it like a purse. But the most important thing is the juice anyway. And this fragrance, it smells so good. <clears throat> um, It's reminding me of a fragrance that I own. It's so delicious. I just want to keep smelling myself. It reminds me kind of of um the Lancome Le Nuit and also some vibes of um, the green bottle, the Mugler fragrance in the green bottle, which I will be talking about later. You guys, you know what? You will find out more information about it when I do the individual review. It smells amazing, guys. I promise you. Now, then, another fragrance house that I really, really enjoy, and that is the house of Mugler. And this is none other than Angel Muse. This is the one ounce bottle. And I have a backup. I heard so many people do reviews on this fragrance. And I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. So I went ahead and got a small bottle. And that's like a rarity for me. But when I tried this one, I was like, I definitely need a backup. Because it just was too good. I probably would have gotten the 50 mil, but Ulta didn't carry it when I ordered it. So I went ahead and ordered this one. And then ordered another one. So when you open it, this is what it looks like on the inside. All of Mugler fragrance always have this code in there. I guess that's like the authenticity code. So you go ahead and you open it. And when you open it, this is what it looks like. This is just a chocolate hazelnut fragrance. And it's perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect and gorgeous in the winter. So 
Mm, definitely has the original angel DNA in it for sure. And I really, really enjoy this fragrance. I probably will just put this back in the box so I can preserve it and I will start to use it in fall slash Christmas time. Or anytime I just feel like smelling like mm, hazelnut goodness. Delectable chocolate. Mm. You guys need to get your hands on this, especially for the colder seasons. If you live somewhere that's cooler most of the year, then you definitely want to get your hands on that. It's really, really good. I will say, though, you should probably go to a store and try to spray it if you haven't smelt it. Not a safe blind buy if you don't like some of the things I just mentioned right now. Moving on to the House of Dior. This is an all-time favorite. This is the Hypnotic Poison. I got it from Ulta. The price is actually on it. It was $80. This is the 50 ml bottle because for some reason they didn't carry the 100 ml bottle. I absolutely love this fragrance. When I said I had five fragrances, this was one of the five fragrances that I owned prior to starting my journey. This brings back so many memories. There's actually a family friend and a namesake of mine. Her name is Adeswa also. We went to high school together. She always used this fragrance. I went to the store one day and I sprayed it on and I was like, this is what Adeswa always smelled like. I gotta get my hands on it. A lot of people know about this fragrance already. And if you don't own it, I'm sure you've smelt it as someone that you know. This is an intoxicating fragrance and I'm so happy to have it back in my collection. Mm. This is an EDT, but it definitely lasts a very long time on the skin, trust me. Moving on to the House of YSL, this is the original fragrance, Oman Puri. And I got this in the 50ml bottle, also from Ulta. This retails for $97, so this is what it looks like when you open the YSL seal. I hope you guys can see that. Um, and then open the box. And it's a classic bow tie fragrance. This is the original, like I said, is really sparkly. Oh, it smells so good. Now I'm reminded why I purchased this. This smells like if you've been to Paris and you're walking through the mall or like the duty free at the airport, this is what it smells like. This is a very, very gorgeous scent. All right, so moving on to the house of Versace and is none other than Versace Dylan Blue for them. I love the packaging of this box. It's got the Versace seal all over the cylinder box. This is a 100 ml Eta perfume. Oh my gosh. And this is what it looks like. Look at this, guys. This looks so gorgeous. This one was another recommendation by Jeremy Fragrance. I had smelt it in a store. I really liked it. And I just had to have my hands on it. I didn't know the packaging was this beautiful, though. I might actually just leave it in this cardboard box. But of course, you can take it out. This is what it looks like. This is the actual bottle. Retails for $120. This fragrance is also a keeper. Next on the list, I've got Ralph Lauren Woman. Um, when I went into Ulta, one of the days I went shopping, I smelt this, the original one, and I heard, heard someone talk about it. I think Demi Rowland had spoken about it. But then I smelt the intense version, and this just smells so elevated, and I just had to have it. Is a perfect everyday scent and just so beautiful. I love the bottle also. Although it only comes in the one ounce at Ulta, so this is the one I purchased. I love, you just open the box and back like that. It smells so good. I'm happy to have it in my collection and I actually like the black bottle. The original one is in a clear and gold bottle, but I really, really like this yeah. one. So right now I've got the Estee Lauder, beautiful. I've got quite a number of Estee Lauder perfumes. This one, I'll just tell you a little backstory. When I was in college, I used to work part-time for a bank, and there would be times I would spray this on and go to school and then go to work. And when I would walk into the banking center, my colleagues would ask me, what is that that you have on? And this was the fragrance. It smells very obnoxious, um, a little bit strong and overwhelming when I use it, so I don't remember using a lot of it. I still have another bottle, which is about a third full, but I will always have this in my collection because I get compliments when I wear it, so it must be good with my body chemistry. This one retails for $85, and this is 75 ml. It's old school, but it's so good. Now, the next SL lot of fragrance I have is Pleasure, and this brings back so many memories because I believe my mom used to use this when I was much younger. Um, it's just a very feminine, mature scent, and another oldie but goodie. I just had to get my hands on it, and it looks like this. 
just a clear white bottle pleasures it's something i thought i would be able to get at like a ross or a marshall's or something but i never find it there so i had to buy it from ulta so this is the 100 ml bottle and it retails for 98 dollars mm, yeah definitely good mm -hmm. so now i'm um, back to the house of ysl so some people are probably going to question why I have this in my collection because it's so popular and everybody has it. And to some people, they feel is not that great. But it's just the oldie but goodie. I have mixed emotions about it. This is the 90 ml bottle and it retails for $124. Out of all the fragrance I purchased, this is the only one I'm having second thoughts about. And the reason I'm having second thoughts is because I have a cheaper dupe that I own. It was one of those days when I did an emotional buy. These are fragrance I've purchased over the last two to three months. I've just been keeping them until I did a haul video because I had other haul videos to do for you guys and I wanted to experience those ones before starting these new ones. I guess when I do the review, I'll be able to tell you guys a little bit more. I also have an alternative to this. If you don't want to spend that moolah on this, that will be in an upcoming video. Since we're talking about fragrances that are super popular, this is another one that's super popular that I just had to have in my collection and this is Lancome La Vie Is Belle. You're probably like, why did you buy this? Everybody and their mama has this, but this is just a classic scent. I actually own a flank of this fragrance. I believe it's the La Vie Is Belle Le Clark. I hope I'm saying it correctly. I own that one and I actually love that one. That one is amazing. It's way better than this one, but this is a classic and I just had to have it in my collection. Yes. Now the next one in my list is Narciso Rodriguez for her and this is the Edit Toilette. In a future video, I'll tell you why I purchased this um, instead of the Edit Perfume, but this is an amazing one to have in your collection. In my opinion, I feel like every woman has to have a Narciso Rodriguez fragrance in their collection. They're just absolutely amazing. So this is what the bottle looks like. And this is the 100 ml. I just had to have one. And this retails for $108. And the next one on the list is Armani C. I couldn't help it. I had already opened the box. So this is what it looks like. And this is the original C. This is the 100 ml bottle. It retails for $120. Mm. Next on the list is Tresor Midnight Rose. This is another one that I've wanted for such a long time. I'm so pleased and happy that I got my hands on it. And it actually matches my top. This is a really, really good one. And I'm super happy that I have my hands on it. This is an oldie but goodie. Oh, God, Lanco makes the best fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and spray. Incredible. You guys, this is incredible. Next, next on the list is After Sunset by Killian. I'm sure you guys know about Killian fragrance. They're beast mode, projection mode. They also cost a lot, the niche brands anyway. This, however, doesn't cost as much as the niche fragrance that range from $200 and above. This one is a 30 mil, one ounce bottle. And it retails for $75. I guess they're branching out and trying to make more mainstream fragrance, I guess. And this is the one I have. This is what the box looks like. It says, fun things always happen after sunset. And it has a little note and a signature from Killian. And this is what the bottle looks like. So it sits on your table like this. It has Killian in front of it. And when you spin the ball, it has... Fun things always happen after sunset. This is a weird fragrance because it actually sits upside down. So you open it like this and you spray it like this and then you put it back. I'll definitely be giving you my thoughts on this fragrance in a future video. Next on the list is Chloe Nomad. So it says Chloe on one side and Nomad on the other side. This one I got the one ounce bottle and it retails for $79. Um... I told you guys I typically go for a 100 ml bottle, but I went with a smaller bottle of this because I do own a lot of fragrance and I'm not sure how many times I will use it. If I'm putting all of my fragrance in rotation, I probably will only use this once or twice a year. So I'm not, so that's why I didn't feel it was necessary. But do I love the scent? I absolutely adore it and I prefer it to the over popular Chloe. So I'm pretty much done with this box. In here, I just have little gifts that came with the fragrance, it's like candles, body lotions, um, individual little mini perfumes and stuff like that.
And I'm done with that box. I'm going to go on to the sets now.